All right, guys. So now we're going to get into our first project where we're going to actually learn JavaScript by doing instead of just reading through documentation and using, you know, theory to to teach it to you guys. I'm going to put you guys right into the action. So scenario one is a client comes to you and says, hey, I'm a life coach who has a landing page and I'm looking to capture the emails of my leads meaning you know future clients so this is something that happens in the industry a lot you have a landing page it could be for a product it could be for a service and they do this so they could get the email of that future client or that prospect client that might be able to buy a product from them or might sign up to their service but they want to get their email so like that they could email them information about the the product or the service you know, and like that, it could convince them to buy the product or the service. Okay. So for us as developers, our task is to build a model that captures the email of a client when they try to leave the landing page. Okay. So right now, what you can see right here, this is a landing page. All right. This is a landing page for a life coach. Let's say, is a master class, a presentations, elements that while the audiences, etc., from Louisa Prescott, right? It says saves your spot. So imagine somebody lands on this page. Now they're like, oh, they're a little bit iffy, and then they try to leave, right? And if they try to leave, what we want to do is we want to create a model that shows up to them and says, Hey man, before you leave. Add, you know, add your email and you'll get 25% off or add your email and you will receive a free ebook, add your email and you will receive uh, your first ticket, you know, half price or whatever it could be, right? It could be for an event. It could be for a product that they're trying to sell. It could be for, uh, you know, ebook that they're trying to sell, right? So this is how this thing works right so this is the task that we have the client is a life coach we are going to come in and basically optimize it by creating a model that captures the email if the user tries to leave the page all right now just to give you guys an example i'm gonna go to fashionnova.com just to give you guys like an inside look what exactly I'm talking about. So this right here is a modal, right? I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. This is like pretty much like a little pop up that shows up on a page. Now there's a lot of different ways of trying to get somebody's email. Uh, you could go in and leave a message. You could go in, put a video player. Uh, you could go in and just put a form, you know, uh, sometimes there's, e-commerce stores that come like this and they try to make it real fun by saying hey if you scratch this we'll give you a mystery offer and it says oh it's 30 percent okay and then from there it says oh get my offer the person clicks it and then from there they ask you hey choose your preference is it for a woman a man uh for kirby kids beauty uh, and then from there, put in your emails and then you click on saving, uh, saving money, right? So let's just put in Billy234 at Gmail and then loving saving money. Okay. And there you go. It basically says Fashion Nova. You're about to save big. Welcome to 30. That's the coupon code. And then it says just continue with your 30% off. All right. Um, now this is for our e commerce store. We're going to make something similar to this, but for a life coach. All right. So that's the scenario that we're going to be working on. Now, I want to be honest with you guys. We're not going to have a full page, right? We're just basically going to work on the task, right? Building the modal, capturing the email when the mouse basically tries to leave the page. All right. It's a simple project. We don't need to build a whole landing page to actually you know simulate this what we're going to do is we're going to build a, he a header and then from there we're going to start working on the model so we can start working on, on our javascript because that's what we're here for okay we're not here for html css or building landing pages no we're here to build specific components of a page that you guys have seen before so i'm going to stop right here and i'll see you guys in the next video